Hi. What's up, Sonny? Anyway, um, I was supposed to be home hours ago, but when I went, after I came home from tutoring, or actually not home, I never made it home, I went to Chili's, I was like, hey, I'm gonna go grab some cheap lunch, you know, since I worked there, but my manager, they were like really swarmed, and they were really busy, so he was like, Mike, I need you to do it to go. I'm like, really, dude, I'm not scheduled. Being the good guy I am, I stayed there and worked the shift up to go. Uh, so yeah, I'm finally home. Anyway, let's do some math. Which problem do you need first? You want four. Oh, god damn it, four is like super long. Alright. So. What you do is find the area region that closed by these two, right? So, wait, let me draw it out for you so it, you kind of maybe, um, you kind of see it a little clearer. Okay, so, um, so, uh, if you draw yourself a coordinate plane right here, like so, right? And you want to graph both of these guys. So, x squared minus 2x, you can factor that into y equals x, x minus 2. So that means, it is, oh shit. No! Oh no, my carpet. That's not good. <laughs> uh, it intersects with 2 and it intersects with positive, or 0 and positive 2. I should have drawn that figure. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Here. Alright? y equals to 3 is up here. Right? So, this guy goes like this. It is asking for this total area right here. So, how do you do that? Well, you first of all find where these two intersect right here. Right? Because this is like those two intersections. I need some colors. Hold up. By finding the area where they intersect, you find yourself the enclosed area. So you find yourself the two points where you want to have it in between. So, what you do is you set these guys uh, equal to each other, right? Because that's how you find the solutions for a function, for a system, I guess. 3 equals 2x squared minus 2x, which is equal to 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 3, which means that x equals 2 uh, negative, or no, 3 negative 1. Shit, no, that's not right. 1. There you go. Nah, fuck, that's not right also. I'm tired. Um, x, x, negative 3 plus 1. Yeah, that's right. So x equals to 3 and negative 1. So, what you want to do then is you find your area from negative 1 to positive 3. Alright? So that's your like two little enclosed shit. Alright, so here's two methods to do it. There's two methods. Method number one is calculator. Calculator. Alright? So the way you do it on your calculator is you combine these two functions right here. Actually, I don't need this anymore. You combine these two functions into one function, which I did over here. This is your combined function right here. The 0 becomes y equals, right? Now, what you do is you go to math, like a um, calculator math, I mean. Uh, let me fetch. Where'd you go? Here it is. You go to this button right here, math. Math. Uh, go all the way down. Oops. Nope. Damn it. There you go. And you go to F N E I N T. Alright? So go to F N I N T. Alright? What you want to enter now is your function. So this guy. X squared, draw a parenthesis right here, X squared minus two X minus three. Alright? Comma. X yx because you're solving 4x. 
Don't ask me why, it's just something you calculated once. Just enter your x, okay, that's, that's all you need to do. Comma, your smaller point, which is negative 1, comma, 3. And I close parentheses, all right? So, to sum up, f of x is the random x. You cannot see that at all, can you? First value, first x, and over here, your second x. Alright? So, for this function, I'm going to enter it, and I'm going to show you what it would look like, alright? So you know. f and i and p of x squared minus 2x minus 3 and p x from negative 1, 3, plus. All right. Yeah, it's good. It will look like this. All right. So once you press enter, you get negative ten and two thirds. Don't worry about the negative. That's just stupid. The answer is ten and two thirds. I right, forget the negative. Oh yeah, negative or unit squared, whatever. Okay. That's the calculator way. But the calculator way often will, I mean, it'll work. But here's the thing. If you have a function where there is a negative and a positive area, here that doesn't really happen because once you do, um, once you bring this 3 down here by getting them together, you're ignoring the positive negative thing because you're moving the whole function down 3. So it doesn't happen. But if, if something like this happens, for example, um, actually, I, I need this function still. So. If something like this happens, you have a positive area and you have a negative area, and you know those cancel each other out, so you'll, you'll run into problems there. So, there you have to divide it into two separate regions. Now, the harder way, but if you don't have a calculator hand, you need to do this method. Um, what you do is, let me erase all this. Um, Second by hand. All right. So the way you do that. So what you do now is um, when you do it by hand, you take your combined function, and you need the combined function because um, it's just it doesn't work when you don't have a combined function. What you do is you take the combined function and you integral from negative one to three of uh, x squared minus 2x minus 3, right? So now take the integral, we got x cubed over 3 minus x squared minus 3x. And you do that from negative 1 to 3. Now what you do is you plug in 3, all right? Because that's the bigger one. So you plug in 3. So uh, 27 divided by 3 is 9 minus. Uh, 9 minus 9. Are you kidding me? Alright, uh, so that's negative 9. And then you subtract when you plug in negative 1. So negative 1 to the third is negative 1 divided by negative 1 third minus minus 1 minus plus 3. Alright, so that should give you 10 and 2 thirds somehow. Probably negative, so again, don't forget to worry about the negative. So again, oh yeah, unit squared. Right, so that's A. If you don't combine your functions, you get you get a positive and negative area, and they cancel each other out. So you need to watch out that you don't um, fall for that. Alright? So.
sketch to they want to find a section. And they want area. Alright? So let us start with a sketch. Boom, boom. Alright, so y equals x minus 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, something like this, 1, 2, 3, alright, that's y equals x minus 3. Now, x squared minus 3x, again we can factor, we get uh, x, x minus 3, so it intersects at 3 and it intersects at 0, so it goes something like this. Uh, somewhere here they're going to intersect. Okay? Now, I think I drew that right. Okay, so, again, to find the intersection, the second step, you set them equals to get x minus 3 equals to x squared minus 3x. So, you subtract everything to one side, uh, side 0 equals x squared uh, minus 4x plus 3. Did I do that right? Yes, I did. Okay. So now, get x, x, um, both negative 3 and 1. Alright? Good. So x equals to 1 and 3. So we want our Definite integral from 1 all the way up to 3. I have 1, 2, uh, long. or whatever. The sketch is not that accurate, don't worry about it. Okay? X equals, okay. So, area. Now, what we do, again, you can do it with the calculator. And you do F and A, I, and T of function. So combined function is x squared minus 4x plus 3, comma x, comma 1, comma 3. Both parentheses, and you should get uh 4b, 4b, where are you? Is that right? Um Negative four thirds. I'm kind of skeptical about this one. Hold up one second. I'm going to do it with my calculator. Uh, it's x squared minus four x plus three. One three. Negative one third. Oh yeah. Okay. Negative four thirds. Excellent. So again, it's positive. All right. And then we can also do it by hand. One to three, negative x squared plus four x minus three. Oh shit! Were those right? That was right. Never mind. Okay. And now you take the integral and you get negative x cubed over three plus two x squared minus three x from one to three, and you get four thirds. All right. All right, let's do C. Y equals square root of X. Y equals X squared. All right? Again, set them equal. X squared equals square root of X, which means that X to the fourth equals X because I'm squaring both sides. X squared squared is X to the fourth. Square root of X squared is X. All right, so you get X to the fourth minus X equals zero, which means that X x cubed minus, uh, minus 1 equals 0, which means that x equals to 0 and 1. And uh, it should equal to something else also. Mm -hmm. One thing. Oh, no, it doesn't because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's imaginary. So x equals to that and that, okay? I think I got that right. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, so now again, 
fn i n t of x to the fourth minus x comma x comma zero comma one equals one six or integral from zero to one uh x to the fourth minus x and you get x to the fifth over five minus x squared over two from zero to one if you plug it in you also get one six all right i hope that helps if you have any more questions this is the gist all right there's really nothing else um yeah, if you have any more questions, just ask me. I'll be up all night because I have a math paper to write for tomorrow. Uh, peace.